Hey, this is Vu, and this is going to be a demo review for a longtime Twitch follower and sub, FM Jacket 99 in-game name Mortified Mac, and I'm going to be doing this one as a sponsored video by Leadify, which is an AI coach that's currently in beta. It can be used for currently face it matchmaking and your normal matchmaking, and you can put in your, uh, your match history, and it'll give you some statistics on how you compare in terms of your utility usage, positioning, team and CT efficiency and several other things compared to people of your rank and what you're going to see here from FM Jacket is he has fantastic aim absolutely his aim is incredible it's up at a 97 should be out of 100 so 97 out of 100 is ridiculous but his positioning leaves a little bit to be desired and his utility usage is rank laughable and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through and show you just how good his aim is it's actually incredible but just how bad his utility usage is in general and he kind of positions himself in ways where it doesn't seem natural to use utility so I'll go over that as well the first game the first round we're going to see here is actually going to be a great example of it as uh, things are going to go through he tosses the smoke towards top mid which is great but what you're going to find is that he actually has a ridiculous amount of unused utility just about every round now this round here is actually a great example of when not to throw a flash because he's sitting here close underpass a lot of people have the tendency to think that this is a situation where you might want to throw a flash now it is a situation where you might want to throw a flash but more often than not you want to keep your gun out here and wait for the swing make sure you can kill this player what's going to happen is he's going to delay for the second player here to walk up close and then they're going to double peek this guy together and that's actually the perfect play there make sure you have your gun out and get the frag but what he's going to follow that up with is some more terrible utility usage that smoke is actually a one way so it's worse than not throwing a smoke because someone can jump up here and shoot him as he's running up cat so he's actually kind of killed himself there at least a little bit uh throw good smokes or don't throw smokes at all uh because you're just wasting them and you're just hurting yourself then he's gonna walk his way up here and you're going to see his aim is actually really on point again. But uh, the utility usage so far has left something to be desired. And this round is just going to be closed out pretty simply. And another situation here you're going to see where... Uh, he doesn't use the utility again, and a lot of people are going to see this as an issue. He holds on to two flashes here, he's had them all around, and he should have potentially used them. Now, part of what FM Jacket does is he continually positions himself in situations where his utility is not something that can generally be used. And so it will often seem like, well, in this exact scenario, you probably don't want to be using your utility. However, realize that there are often better spots for him to be positioning to actually use that utility rather than the spots that he actually plays in so for this one he's actually in a good spot he doesn't really need to be anywhere else and he doesn't really have any utility that he necessarily needs to sh to throw because his main goal here is to try and catch the player off guard he doesn't necessarily need to peek out there but his main goal is to catch them off guard and he does that effectively so i'm going to start this round a little way through because he kind of just runs around at the start but you're going to notice we're 40 seconds into the round and he still has full utility probably says a little bit of something now what's going to happen here is you're going to see him prioritize positioning that doesn't allow him to necessarily use his utility so there he throws a smoke by the way huge gap in it he's going to run up jungle here by the way could have thrown a flash at jungle but it is defensible because he knew both players were just just before in b He's trying to race. However, again, they could easily have rotated jungle more easily than they rotated CT. So someone could easily be in jungle. He really should have used, you know, some sort of utility or waited to double peak jungle with his teammate. Then his teammate's going to plant here and FM Jacket is going to walk all the way around. However, there's a problem in that the bomb is planted on the other side of the box here, on the other side of triple. So he's going to end up around here, and he's got a molly, and he's got two flashes, and if he stayed jungle, that utility would win him the round. But instead, he's in CT now, and the utility is essentially useless. He really doesn't have a situation to use it. He needs to fight the gunfight, and he's actually going to lose this gunfight. Now, what he should really most likely do here 
is actually just jump over this opera's angle, play a little bit more aggressively, but that's kind of neither here nor there. He should have, in this situation, been in jungle and actually played an angle where he could have utilized that utility rather than rotating around CT unnecessarily when the bomb was planted for him in jungle. Again, he's putting himself in situations where he'll get into gunfights even when he has the utility advantage. Now, I did say his positioning was a little bit questionable, and you're going to see that here. He's going to head his way up cat, and again, his aim is actually really good. So if he can improve these other things, he's going to have a pretty good time up. Uh, in, in terms of ranking up and improving, but he's constantly putting himself in bad spots, partially because he's utilizing, you know, or not utilizing his utility correctly, and he's putting himself in situations to not utilize his utility correctly, but also he has trouble sitting in the middle of the open, and this is a great example of this. Generally, you always want to be as near cover as possible with all types of guns, but especially with an op in your hands, you need to be able to unpeak. Now, that being said, sometimes you will need to enter no man's land, and this is right here, this is definitive no man's land between cat boxes and get right it's really just no man's land there's nowhere you can really reposition to easily however he's gonna get a shot off here and he's gonna land this shot and now as soon as you land a shot with an op you're going to know that in general people are going to try and peek out on you as quickly as possible they want to catch you while you're in the cooldown time which means when you shoot you're always looking at a place to reposition to as quickly as possible okay that means that he either wants to jump out to the left here which would be fairly easy and get out to the boxes so you take that shot and you back off immediately or in theory if he was a little bit further forward he could try and get behind this pillar here however the reason you don't necessarily want to be going behind that pillar is because you're exposing yourself to angles that you have yet to clear as you get there right instead as you jump back you're exposing yourself only an to angles that you've already cleared but you can see why his positioning rating is also quite low in in addition um, to his utility rating which is dog shit okay leadify says your utility usage is dog shit caliber and i agree so he's gonna kind of get caught in the open there and i mean he doesn't actually get caught during the cooldown. What he actually gets caught is, is he's double scoped on an angle uh, weirdly, but the cooldown there is what really caught him off guard. If he had unpeaked, he would have been able to re-peak effectively. So round number 11 here is another great example of putting yourself in a situation where you can't really use your utility, although this one is not quite as heavily um, that way as these other ones. So what's going to happen here is he's going to get a kill and he's just going to overstay his welcome. He's going to stay here. He's going to find this kill. And generally, once you find this kill here, you have a few options. However, you don't want to be re-peaking the same angle. Now, once you get to this spot, uh, there's a few things he can be doing. He can be supporting for someone to get up towards connector. He can flash potentially into connector or above connector for his teammates. He can toss a molly down on balcony to give himself room to be able to reposition and push out. But just as reasonably, he could move his way back around from palace around to ramp to give himself a position where he can actually use his utility. Instead, all he's going to do is continue to contest with this off in hand. He had full utility in his inventory when he died there now this is something that i often gripe with you know you don't always want to just toss down your utility randomly because i say you know you don't want to die with utility however you want to put yourself in positions a lot of the time if you have full utility try to put yourself in positions where that utility can be useful when you're when you have low utility that's when you put yourself in positions where you're taking aim duels obviously you can't just sit there and only use utility when you have it and then only take aim duels when you don't have the utility but you can try and you know optimize your gameplay a little bit where when you have utility you play a little bit more towards those angles where um, utility can be important if if it, the, the way the game goes allows it. So he went aggressive there in Palace initially to catch the guy jungle off guard. That's fantastic. He caught someone off guard. That was the goal there. And if he had no utility, 
it still would have been questionable to continue re recontesting. I'm not going to try and frame it differently. If he had no utility, it still would have been questionable, which makes this doubly questionable because he had so many options in his um, in his game that he could have made. He could have made 10 different options there because of the utility, and instead he chose the worst of the options. So the last round we're going to watch here is round number 27, and this is going to be an interesting one. And really, we've gone over just about everything because, as Leadify said, his utility usage was pretty pretty, pretty bad. It was pretty terrible. His positioning is mediocre. There's some problems there, but it's not too bad. But his real problem, again, is utility. But when you tell someone to, to use their utility, oftentimes they're going to do what he does here. It seems like he has an idea that he doesn't use its utility enough. So what he's going to do is he's going to run out and totally waste it. This is the very beginning of the round, by the way. Very beginning of the round. So what's the problem here? You can pause the video and think about it to yourself, but it should be kind of obvious. One, you don't need to throw those flashes at the beginning of the round. Two, those flashes don't actually blind the people at top middle. It, they land too low, which means if someone is holding the angle that an opera would be holding back here, it will land under his field of view. So that's only going to be blinding people here where they can't even be by the time you're throwing those. Okay, then he throws two of them nobody knows why, and doesn't peek with him, nobody knows why, shoots a random off shot at the wall, also nobody knows why, and then he's just going to back up and, and molly under window, nobody knows why, and then he's just going to die from top middle, nobody knows why, okay, there's a lot of confusing things in this round, it's actually incredibly hilarious, all right, but... No, nobody, I don't think he even understands why things have gone quite the way they went in that round. But that's the idea that happens. You know, someone thinks, I don't use my utility enough, right? I'm not, I'm not utilizing my utility nearly enough. So they throw their utility in the dumbest possible ways, just completely wasted. Now, for FM Jacket 99 or Mortified Mac, whatever you want to be calling him, uh, for him, he needs to be putting himself in positions in which he can utilize his utility a little bit more. Instead of going places like Palace, where you can't really use it, instead of going places like Underpass, where you can't really use it, you might consider moving a little bit over to other places some of the time. Doesn't mean Underpass is a bad idea, just... You know, when you have full utility, especially as you get late into a round when nobody else really has full utility, consider repositioning a little bit. Also, consider positions where you can use your flashes effectively because oftentimes if you're the first man out, you're not going to be using those flashes, but you can be in other positions where you can use them a little bit more often. And for example, in after plants, if you have low utility, you can take straight up gun duels. But if you have high utility, you can oftentimes put yourself in positions where you play the bomb a little bit more. And this is a very kind of complicated tightrope a little bit because, you know, if you're playing specifically to use your utility, you're probably making a mistake in doing so, but you don't want to play entirely away from any use of your utility if you have a full inventory, if you know what I mean. Sometimes you can go in the middle ground, sometimes you can go without using your utility, but if you go, you know, into a situation where you put yourself in a spot where you can't use your utility when you have full utility, you you know, if there was a, another option where you could have potentially utilized your utility, maybe you should have done that. So anyways, thanks for watching. Again, sponsored video by Leadify, the AI coach. Check out Leadify.com and uh, I hope this helped. So I'm going to stick this in at the end here for people that actually watch the entirety of the video. Congrats for that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to list off some beta keys here for Leadify. And they are first come, first serve. So if you're watching this video in a few weeks time, potentially or very likely they are already gone and been used. However, if you get to this quickly, you can certainly use these and try the product yourself. And 
As for Leadify, I've liked the idea of AI coaches since I first heard of it actually from a different company. However, you know, I think Leadify actually uses it in a very effective way and gives across the information pretty well. So I definitely support Leadify as a product in general. Uh, regardless of the sponsorship, I wouldn't have made a video quite like this if I didn't think the product was worth using. So check it out check the description if you want to just sign up for the beta of the website even if these uh even if these codes are not working and thanks for watching